Hey everybody, Brian from PMB Home Setting. Wanted to give you the update for the large grow tent. And we've got a lot of exciting growth inside of here that uh, Paul and I are actually starting to get some of the kale that we've started growing a couple weeks ago. So let me grab the camera. Oh, it's got my goggles here because it's a bright tent. So make sure you always have that if you've got a bright tent. You only got one pair of eyes and you don't want to lose them. All right, let's go here. So last night for dinner, Paula and I got our first taste of the Bates kale, and that stuff is good. I mean, it's it's got a really, really nice uh, flavor to it, and it was a nice addition to our salad. Besides, we, uh, we had some of this beta mix, got a couple of pieces out of there. You can see it's getting really ready to have another harvest done on it, so it's going well. And that Bates kale, it looks like I can probably harvest off some more of that tonight, but uh, I don't want to trim too much heavy off of that because I want to let the leaves get a little bit bigger. But uh, I thinned it out, and we had quite a bit of that in our salad last night, along with the, uh, the basil back there. We've been harvesting off that uh, Thai basil, and Paula's been actually taking that and making it into like a, a part of her uh, pesto salad dressing type that she makes when she mixes that with the, uh, the parsley we got growing here, as well as some of the cilantro over there. Let me move over to the other side of that tent here. And as you can see, the, the parsley is really, really looking good. I mean, it's big, nice and healthy. And uh, we've cut a couple of times off of this. And then we've got the Mexican herb back there. It's doing well. And then of course, you know, we've got the, uh, the cilantro here in the front. It's really healthy. And then that beta mix back there, we chopped off some of that this last week for one of our dinner salads. And it's already regrown to be full size again. And it's ready for another harvest. So we'll be coming down there and getting some of that for tonight's meal. And then over here, we've got the white Russian kale. And then we've got the red Russian kale, which both, I mean, the leaves on this white Russian kale are getting to the point where I could probably start harvesting those off this week, putting those in our salads. So we're going to have that kale going in our salads. And then we're also going to have the red Russian kale probably the week after that. It's still a little small. I mean, if you want to have the nice tender leaves, you could take that now. But uh, I'm, I'm wanting to let this kale kind of grow up a little bigger because we're going to start using that in a lot of our sautés and uh, things of that nature. But uh, we're really pleased with how the kale's turning out. It's really, I mean, at this stage right now, it's still really young and tender, and it's really good. And then we took some of those chives. We took a little bit of the chives and thinned those out, and you can see that was thinned out through in here. But there's still plenty, and they regrow pretty quickly. So we're happy with uh, everything, how this tent is going. I mean, it's just, it's just banging. I mean, we've got, we've got a lot of production coming out of this tent. And then down below here, you can see the, uh, the Mizuna greens, the Asian greens, are really coming along. And uh, we should be harvesting off those probably in another week or two. So that'll be going into our salads. And then also the, uh, the cilantro in the pots, you can see it here. And then we also have some over here on the side I seeded. So that way we'll have some more. And I think the idea, what I talked to Paula about is, we're going to start putting the cilantro in these six inch pots. And as they get ready, we're going to start hauling the pots upstairs. And she has a little three, uh, like a little metal decorative container that holds three inch pot or six inch pots, three of them. So we're going to start taking three of these at a time when they're ready. And we'll haul them upstairs. And that way she won't have to come down here and get the cilantro. And that means I can take the cilantro out of this area up here, inside of that bed. And I can plant that with some more uh, lettuce greens, either uh, maybe the Asian greens or maybe some uh, more beta salad mix because that tray already has half the tray with the beta salad mix you can see in the back. So that'll be a, a nice addition, but I'm, I'm just blown away by the, uh, the actual production I'm gonna be getting out of this tent. Compared to, you know, when I had the tomatoes in here the last, uh, you know, year and a half, almost two years, I'm actually, you know, producing food enough to where we can actually live off of this as part of our meals, not just as a hobby. This is more of a actual, we're feeding ourselves off of what we grow under our house. So this is pretty cool to me. All right. <laughs> you guys probably think I'm crazy, but uh, I mean, I, I love doing this stuff. And uh, you know, it's, it's fun. I mean, you know, the guys, guys I work with, they, they ask me about this stuff and, you know, I just kind of smile and laugh and it's like, you know, <laughs> I'm trying to make sure I keep healthy so I can keep coming to work. <laughs> All right, everybody. This has been Brian from P&B Homesteading. I'll talk to you again. Bye.